With the rate at which PC hardware technology has been developing, you might think that the well would have dried up already and that we'd have hit a plateau, but this just doesn't seem to be the case. After all, we've got DDR5 memory just waiting to drop. CPUs and GPUs have been making leaps in the past few years, to the point mid-range PCs can now run 4K gaming. But one piece of hardware that doesn't get as much limelight is long-term storage. Now sure, we all know our HDDs and our SSDs and maybe even our NMVE SSDs. But what about Intel Optane? This proprietary Intel storage technology has been around for half a decade. But it rarely gets talked about. So why is this? Is it because, like most things Intel, Optane memory is overpriced? Or is it simply not worth it? Let's find out. Starting off with the basics, let's first define what Intel Optane actually is. This proprietary technology was introduced by Intel in 2017 under the name 3D X-Point. But because 3D X-Point doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, it got rebranded to Optane. Now, the original goal of this technology was to bridge the gap between HDDs and SSDs. It did so by combining the CPU and NMV technology to boost your HDD's performance. Essentially, Optane would keep track of the files and functions that you access most frequently and optimize your user experience when accessing them. To put it in more technical terms, Optane basically acts as an extended cache for your HDD. By utilizing fast memory chips to store important data, it could let you access said data way faster than your HDD would otherwise allow. So the idea here was to have your cake and eat it too. You get the high capacity and low price of HDDs and the high speeds of an SSD albeit in more limited manner. Now, on paper, this sounds incredible. Who doesn't want to have their cake and eat it too? But as we've said a million times on this channel, on paper specifications don't mean a thing if the actual user experience doesn't match their hype. We know that Intel Optane is a term few remember in the gaming community. So instead of asking whether or not it's worth getting, let's take a look at why Optane has been consigned to oblivion in the gaming community. To put it bluntly, Intel Optane was a victim of time. It may hurt to say this, but 2017 was half a decade ago. And half a decade is an enormously long period in the PC hardware world. This was the year when Microsoft released the Xbox One X, bringing native 4K to gaming consoles for the first time ever. This was the year when AMD released their very first Ryzen CPUs. This was the year when Nintendo Switch was released and when Fortnite was released. Can you imagine a world without Ryzen CPUs, the Nintendo Switch, and Fortnite? Well, that was the beginning of 2017. It was a different time, back when the price per gigabyte gap between SSDs and HDDs was much higher than it is today. So in the context of 2017, a storage solution that bridges the gap between SSDs and HDDs makes sense. Back then, most people couldn't afford a high-capacity SSD, so they purchased smaller SSDs to put their operating system and games on, and a larger HDD to store everything else. So Optane gave people what they were already buying, only cheaper. But now that you can purchase one terabyte of SSD for only $100 or so, Optane has simply been rendered obsolete. At least in the gaming world. Believe it or not, it still remains an appealing option for servers and workstations, as the combination of Optane and an HDD is still more cost-efficient with regards to their storage and performance needs. And that about does it for this video. To sum it up, Intel Optane is a proprietary storage solution that uses the CPU and NVM memory to give HDDs a significant speed boost, all the while costing less than SSDs. Should you care about this as a gamer? Absolutely not. Sure, it can speed up game launches, but with the current state of the market, there's simply no reason to use it over an SSD. On the other hand, if you're building a workstation, this might be something to look into. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can let us know by liking it, sharing it with friends, or leaving a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss a new video. We tried to keep the terminology simple in this video, but if some terms still give you problems, check out the videos linked in the description. That'll take you to videos that deal with all things storage related. We also have some great content lined up, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.